Welcome to Gibbs Cam Video Tutorials. In the next few weeks, we'll be going over all that's new in Gibbs Cam 2023, which has been released in beta for those on maintenance. For those of you not on maintenance, now might be the time to get renewed. There are more than 47 changes in version 2023, and we will be highlighting all these in the next few weeks. So let's get started. Number one. Categories for coordinate systems and work groups. Create categories in both coordinate systems and work groups. So as you can see on my screen now, I have my part, my operations, my process list, and if I show my tools, my tool list. So if we want, we can go over to coordinate systems now. And as you can see, you can create not only coordinate systems like we used to, but now you can create categories. So you, as you can see, I have two categories here. Vice number one and vice number two. Vice number one, if I click on it, you can see there's my, what I'm, what I'm going to call G54. If I click on vice number two, you can see that's over here, and I'm going to call that G55. So you can create multiple coordinate systems, systems inside category, so that'll kind of make things a little easier to organize. The next thing is you can also do that in work groups. So as you can see, I have... Uh, actually three work groups here. I have vice number one and I have um, clicked on uh, milling geometry so I separated that and then if I click on holes you can see this is just the holes so you can separate these into different work groups if you want uh, for your parts. And then I have vice number two so if I click on milling geometry there there's everything in vice number two and there's the holes in vice number two. And, may, and I create a third one that just says all. So if I want to click on all, you can see there's everything in uh, both work groups all combined together. So this makes it a little bit easier to uh, organize your work groups and coordinate systems by categories. So that is number one. Number two, operation groups in op manager. Grouped operation tiles can now appear in Op Manager. So let's close these. So if I go over to my operation list and I right click anywhere on there and go to Operation Manager, here's our standard view before. As you can see, here's my 1 through 18, but I do have some multiple processes uh, combined together on my operation list. So in order to see those, you can see you click on process mode and if I click on this one here process list mode you can see it will group them together in the process list. You can also see what's in that process list by of course clicking on the little plus there and you can see it expands that. So you can see what you've done in multiple processes by clicking on that and of course you have a manual mode as well. But that is something new in Operation Manager. That is number two. Number three, active and inactive operations. So you can see here I have operations for my vice number one, operations for my vice number two. Now let's say I want to deactivate everything for vice number one. Now you can do individual ones or multiple ones. I'm just going to do multiple ones by clicking on the first one, holding shift key down, clicking on the last one, and then you can right click anywhere on there and say deactivate selected ops. So it turns kind of a darker color there, but you can see uh, by that darker color that means they're inactive. So if I go to my operation sim, and play, you can see it's only showing you the second vice, all the operations for the second vice, which is down here. Also, when you go to the post processor, if I was to post this code, you can see it starts out at operation 11, which matches over here, operation 11. So that's an easy way to deactivate operations. Of course, you could click on them again right click and say make them active again and you can see they're active again and you can activate deactivate multiples any combination that you would like to do 
So that is uh, enhancement number three. The last enhancement in this video tutorial is WFO GUI. The work fixture tab of the post, post processor sorry, dialog now provides a third view by CS. So if I go to my post processor now and I go over to my work fixtures, you can see right now uh, this, this isn't new here. This has been in for a little while uh, by operation by work fixture offset. But now we have it by coordinate system. So you can see by uh, viewing in coordinate system, you can see everything that's in that coordinate system there. And of course you can change that as you like, but by coordinate system, you can see all the operations that are in coordinate system one or G54 in my case, or G55, all the operations that are in G55. So this makes it a little bit easier to uh, uh, see your operations and sort them as you need to. Of course, you can change these, whatever you'd like in here right on the fly, if you'd like. What you'd like Gibbs to post out what operations in which coordinate system. In my coordinate system over here, these are just names, this G55. That's what I want to post it in, but this is actually just a name. Just by putting G55 here does not mean it's going to, going to post in G55. This is just uh, for my reference to know this is the coordinate system I want to use. And that's what I set out on my machine to do. So this is the first of one through four enhancements in Gibbscam 2023. More to come. Thank you for watching.